everyone, we're back to watch a movie. A few weeks ago, I asked on Patreon what I should watch next. I think I put Star Wars, I put Mamma Mia, um, and long story short, Back to the Future 1. So we're taking it a couple decades back. This is a movie made in 1985. So I'm, I'm curious to see what the future, because it's Back to the Future, which is funny because, you know, future and you're saying you're going back to the future i'm curious to see how they portrayed the future back in the day i feel like what, what did we watch was it like terminator and even akira where we have actually reached that point in time and things are definitely not the way they expected it to be like now i don't know how far in the future they're going with back to the future so the full length reaction will be available on patreon you can check it out there we have exclusive movies and tv shows that we are reacting over yonder and make sure you hit the subscribe button y'all and even give the video a thumbs up it really helps out a lot with the channel and yeah let's jump right into the movie. Tick, 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 tick. Brown mansion destroyed. Brown estate sold. Statler Toyota is making the best deals of the year. Have denied the rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from. <laughs> I don't know the way that. What's going on? Oh God! Yeah, I'm like I I don't. N oh, there's that plutonium. The dog food that's just like a huge pile. Like, is everyone okay? Oh my goodness! I'm concerned for your eardrums. <laughs> Why did we think that was a good idea? Whoa. <laughs> roll. You! Marty, is that you? Hey! Hey, Doc! You meet me at Twin Pines Mall tonight at 115. I made a major breakthrough and I'll need your assistance. Well, you know, Doc, you left your equipment on all week. You better not hook up to the amplifier. Possibility of overload. Yeah. Oh. 115 a.m. Twin Pines Mall. Right. <laughs> Oh, this is so 80s. You don't go this way. Strickland's looking for you. The realest one. Good job, girl. The doc said all his clients 25 minutes slow. Doc? Oh. Still hanging around with Dr. Emmett Brown McFly. It's dangerous. He's a real nutcase. You're going to end up in big trouble. Oh, yes, sir. You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. Ooh. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. Oh, Lord. Your band is on the roster for the dance audition. You don't have a chance. You're too much like your old man. Okay, can we put some personal space here? History is gonna change. History is gonna change. If we go back to the future. One, two, three! <laughs> Look at her. Wow, they are not impressed. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Next, please. What do they want? A, a strings quartet? Marty, one rejection is You'll be all right. And this audition tape of yours is great. You've got to send it into the record company. What if I send in the tape and they don't like it? I mean, what if they say I'm no good? I mean, I just don't think I can take that sure. kind of rejection. Then maybe music is not for you. At least he's letting you borrow the car tomorrow Save night. Save the clock tower. Is there something with like clocks? And, well, the time travel, I'm guessing. Someday, Jennifer. <laughs> that was a doy. Take that truck up to the lake. Lie out underneath the stars. Ooh. Stop it. What? Does your mom know about tomorrow night? Well, Let's Jennifer, my mother would freak out if she knew I was going up there with you. She never did that kind of stuff when she was a kid. I mean, look. Mm. She's just <laughs> trying to keep you respectable. Save right? the clock tower. Mm. 30 years ago, lightning struck that clock tower, and the clock hasn't run since. It should be preserved exactly the way it is. Oh, no. What happened to that car? Perfect. Just perfect. I can't believe you loaned me a car. 
car had a blind spot. I never noticed that. But what are you, blind, McFly? How else do you explain that wreck out there? Uh, insurance is going to pay for the damage. It's your car. Your insurance should pay for it. Oh, my gosh. And uh, where's my report? Hello? Hello? Oh, Hello? no. Any oh, no. The disrespect. I gotta have time yeah. to get them retired. Yeah. I'll uh, finish those reports on up tonight. Uh, McFly, your shoes aren't tied. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Help yourself. What are you looking at, butthead? I'm, I was thinking the same thing. What are you looking at? <laughs> say hi to your mom for me. I know what you're gonna say, son. You're right. <sighs> Biff just happens to be my supervisor, and I'm a. Mm -hmm. I'm just not very good at confrontations. Aww. The car, Dad. I needed that car in the morning. And yeah. even like his, the guy at the school was talking about your dad. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to eat this cake by ourselves. Your uncle Joey didn't make parole again. Oh. Uncle Jailbird Joey. <laughs> David, watch your mouth. Kiss your mother before you go. <laughs> 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 Called you twice. Any girl who calls up a boy is just asking for trouble. Excuse us. When I was your age, I never chased a boy or sat in a parked car with a boy. Just ever meet anybody like the way I met your father? Grandpa hit him with the car. <laughs> it was meant to be. Uh -huh. Still don't understand what Dad was doing in the middle of the street. Bird watching? What, Lorraine? He seems so helpless. Yeah, Mom, we know you've told Eddie? us the story and you decided to go with him to the, the enchantment under the sea dance. And it was then that I realized I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen those, like, TikToks or reels where, like, they try to do, like, dad jokes? That's exactly how they laugh. <laughs> what do you call a man without a body in his nose? I'm gonna nose? have to find what? it and insert Nobody it. Nobody knows. Ah. 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 Weren't you supposed to be somewhere at like 1 a.m.? Marty, you didn't fall asleep, did you? No. No, don't, don't be silly. <laughs> Einstein. Hey, Einstein, where's the dog, boy? Oh, wow. Out of time. Marty, you made it. Yeah. You just been sitting in that truck. All right, I'm ready. Hey, and me. are we just casually forgetting that he I'm stole plutonium? It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. In the driver's seat. And Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Watch ahead. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, poor dog. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour. Ooh, ah. Why do you get him back? Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. Where the hell are they? I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And then you lost the car, too. We shall catch up with him at the time machine. Wait, what? Are you telling me that you built a time machine? If you sent him into the future, going 88 miles per hour, and... Look out! Ooh. Oh, okay. I was expecting it to just keep going and crash, so I was like, oh my god, did we just kill the dog? Oh my gosh. What is it hot? It's cold. Oh yeah, it is icy. <laughs> Einstein's clock is exactly one minute behind mine and still ticking. And he's completely unaware that anything happened. He skipped over that minute to instantly arrive at this moment in time. This readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. Yes, of course. November 5th, 1955. That was the day I invented time travel. Huh? I had a revelation. A vision. This is what makes time travel possible. I remember when this was all farmland as far as the eye could see. He had this crazy idea about breeding pine trees. Twid pines. Uh, does it run like on, on regular unleaded gasoline? Plutonium. Uh, plutonium. Wait a minute. You don't just walk into a store and, and buy plutonium. I know. Of course. 
from a group of Libyan nationalists. So I took their plutonium and in turn gave them a shiny bomb casing full of used pinball machine parts. Oh, God. Yeah, like, what if you travel and you run out and you're just stuck? Where are you going? I've always dreamed of seeing the future. Uh, look me up. Indeed, I will. Are you taking the doggy or are we taking care of him? I... Dr. Emmett Brown, I'm about to embark on an historic journey. I almost forgot to bring extra plutonium. <laughs> what is it, Arnie? They found me. Who? Run for it, Marty! The Libyans! Oh. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. You didn't take any extra plutonium. Oh, we could just go like, like, fifteen minutes into the past. Whoa. Eighty-eight. But why would we go that far back? Oh, so when we say back to the future, is it just back to present time? Oh, okay, well, either way. How are you gonna get plutonium to go back? Oh, what, what my god. What is it, Paul? Look! <laughs> you about to get probed. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. <laughs> That's funny. Hello? <laughs> Find it, it in the human form! Shoot it! Face <laughs> 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 bastard! It's all a dream. It's just a very intense dream. Wow. This is nuts. Um, why did it turn off? <sighs> oh no. I mean, I guess you just gotta find Doc. And now we have a different, like, is that also an important theme? Like, whoever's running? Hey, kid, what'd you do, jump shit? Five cent coffee. What? I just want to use the phone. Brown. Scientist? You know where 1640 Riverside... Are you gonna order Fly. something, kid? <laughs> hey, McFly! <gasps> oh, my... <laughs> You got my homework finished, McFly? Uh, well, actually, I... Anybody home? Hey, think, McFly. I can't. What are you looking at, butthead? <laughs> I feel like I was having the same expression, too, just like... <laughs> McFly, your shoes are tied. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How are we okay with this for... since high school? What do you let those boys push you around like that for? Well, they're bigger than me. They'll be walking over you for the rest of your life. Literally. Me, I'm gonna make something of myself. I'm going to night. Oh, is he who's running for? That's right. He's gonna be mayor. Yeah. yeah I'm a... Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why we were showing that. That'll be the day. You wait and see, Mr. Carruthers. You shape the future, literally. He's gone. Why does he remind me of the skinny something man from Charlie's Angel? Uh-uh, don't tell me you're... He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> I will lose so much respect for my father at that point. <laughs> Dad! Oh! <gasps> she was like, why were you in the middle of the road? 
Another one of these damn kids jumped in front of my car! Another... So pe people just be doing this all the time? No wonder you didn't need to call any boys. Your milkshake is bringing all the boys to the yard. Holy heck. Jim and I went back in time. You're my mom. My name is Lorraine. Yeah. They just let you... St they didn't take you to the hospital? <laughs> You're so... Young. Thin. I've never seen purple underwear before, Calvin. Oh! What were you doing, PK? That is your name, isn't it? Calvin Klein? Oh. <laughs> well, I guess they call you Cal. Call me Marty. Oh, pleased to meet you, Calvin. Girl, you... Marty? Girl, oh my gosh. And the way you were... You were a fresh little one. That's your son. <laughs> That's a, a big bruise you have there. So that was supposed to be your your dad. God. Oh my god, if that was supposed to be your dad, did we just ruin the timeline? Maybe he won't even be... Oh my god, it is purple. <laughs> Here's the young man you hit with your car out there. Quit fiddling with that thing coming here together. Oh my gosh, girl. The thirst is real. So you're my huh. Uncle Joey. Better get used to these bars, kid. Oh! <laughs> Joey just loves being in his place. The shade! You look so familiar to me. Do I know your mother? Yeah, I think maybe you do. You know where Riverside Drive is? I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. So I can't have no daughters. <laughs> Strange young man. Parents are probably idiots too. <laughs> Doc? What? Why do you look exactly the same? I don't want to know anything about you. Listen, Doc. Diet. How long has this Doc been alive? I'm gonna read your thoughts. Doc, I'm from the future. Now I need your help to get back to 1985. Do you remember what time that happened? I don't. With all the clocks and stuff they've been showing me, I already forgot. I haven't invented any time machine. All right, I'll prove it to you. My brother, my sister, and me. Class of 1984. Hmm. Good night, future boy! No, wait, Doc. The bruise in your head. I know how that happened. You were hanging a clock and you fell, and that's when he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor. Here. We've got to get you home. Look at me. I'm an old man. He kind of looked the same. A portable television studio. No wonder your president has to be an actor. He's got to look good on television. <laughs> what I mean? This is the part coming up, guy. But I need a nuclear reaction to generate the 1.21 electric. What did I just say? You tell me. How could I have been so careless? How am I going to generate that kind of power? I'm afraid you're stuck here. I can't, I can't be stuck here. I got a wife. I got a girl. Look what you wrote here, Doc. I mean, what does a clock tower have to do with this? So it's capable of generating gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. What did you say? Oh. A bolt of lightning. This is it. A bolt of lightning is going to strike the clock tower precisely next Saturday night. You got to be here till next Saturday night. Channel it. Okay, so like how much can we mess with time? Like can we straighten up his Next dad Saturday from night. being a peeping Tom and a coward? Saturday's but would that good. mess Saturday's up? Good. I could spend a week in 1955. And you must not leave this house. Anything you do can okay. have serious repercussions on future events. Yeah. Have you interacted with anybody else today besides me? Yeah. Let me see that photograph again of your brother. Uh, uh, his head's gone. Erased from existence. So we do have to play match. Uh, make her again. They don't meet, they won't fall in love, they won't get married, and they won't have kids. Uh, very funny. Maybe we were adopted. <laughs> Didn't that guy ever have hair? Shape up, man. You want to be a slacker for the rest of your life? Yeah, I guess you felt sorry for him because her dad hit him with the car. Franz Nightingale effect. So we got to push him in front of a car? Get him nearly killed? all over for you. I'd like you to meet my good friend, George McFly. How's your head? Oh, uh, good. Fine. Isn't he a dream boat? Apparently, your mother is amorously infatuated with you. My mother has got the hots for me. Did you not feel her hand on your thigh? <laughs> what do kids do in the 50s? What the, they're your parents. You must know them. There's a rhythmic ceremonial ritual coming up. Of course. <laughs> rhythmic? George, buddy. How are we going to do this? Uh, stories. Visitors. 
coming down to earth. I didn't know you did anything creative. Right? I never let anybody read my stories. If they told me I was no good. Ah, uh, it sounds it like you. So anyway, George, she really likes you. Why are you lying to the poor boy? Let's go over there and ask her. I think she'd rather go with somebody else. Don't kill me. She said, get your meat hooks. <laughs> ah, please. Why do you keep following me around? <laughs> Lorraine wants to go with you. Come on, be a life coach. Help him out. And then help yourself out in turn. Science <sighs> fiction theater. My name is Darth Vader. <laughs> I am an extraterrestrial from the planet Vulcan. Party. Hey, George, buddy, you weren't at school. What are you been Sweating. doing? Sweating. I have to ask Lorraine out, but I don't know how to do it. Last night, Darth Vader came down from planet Vulcan. And... Uh, let's, let's just keep this <laughs> Nothing like stuff to ourselves, fear to okay? get the romance juices going. Okay, but I don't know what to say. Oh, Jesus, George, it was a wonder I was even born. What? Tell her that she is the most beautiful girl you've ever seen in the world. Give me a milk. <laughs> Chocolate. Ooh. You got this. My density has brought me to you. What? Destiny. What I meant to say, I mean. Why did they have to come? Your destiny. I thought I told you never to come in here. Well, Wait, are we gonna st stand up to him? <laughs> no, we don't want this heroic moment to be associated with All you. Right, punk. <laughs> Sucker punch. That's Calvin Klein. Oh my god, he's a dream. No. I'll get it back to you, alright? Skateboard. Wow, look at him go. He's an absolute dream. Your sister's gonna be gone. Mmm! Smooth. Ah, uh, nice. Sweet revenge. <laughs> Where does it come from? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Is she wearing purple now because of him? Yeah, about that. We, as long as we go back like five minutes before, we can save you. I haven't told you about the night we made that. Please, Marty, don't tell me. No mention. No. Let me show you my plan. Cable from the top of the clock tower down, according to the flyer, at a precisely 10:04 p.m. Lightning will strike the clock just as the connecting hook makes contact, thereby mm. sending 1.21 gigawatts and sending you back to 1985. Ready? Release. The timing is gonna be. Crucial. Oh! <laughs> it's your mom. She strapped you down. Stalker. Jeez, Louise. Ah, Lorraine. Uh... <laughs> Ma. I followed you. I was kind of wondering if, if you'd ask. Are me you to chasing enchantment under the boys? sea dance on Saturday? I mean, nobody's asked you. What about what about George? I think a man should be strong. So he can Yo. stand up for himself. How am I supposed to go to the dance with her if she's already going to the dance with you? We gotta show her <sighs> that you are a fighter. You're somebody who's gonna stand up uh -huh. for yourself. You're coming to a rescue. Right around nine o'clock, she's gonna get very angry with me. You mean you're gonna go touch her on her? No. It's just an act. You see us. Uh, and you know struggling. she's gonna let you. You open the door and you say, hey, you, get your damn hands off her. And you and Lorraine live happily ever after. I wish I wasn't so scared. Say, you know, Marty, I'm going to be very sad to see you go. Just knowing that I'm going to be around to see 1985, that I'm going to have a chance to travel through time. It's going to be really hard waiting 30 years before I can talk to you about everything. Mm. I'm really going to miss you, Marty. Talk about the future. No! I'll find out through the natural course of time. Dear Dr. Brown, hmm. please take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this oh, terrible disaster. Oh! Bulletproof vest. What's with the wire? Will, will he remember? This. I don't think I would remember to open an envelope in 30 years. Just a second. Let's see if I can find it. 
Leave room for Jesus. <laughs> you mind if we park? I'd love to park. Huh? <laughs> I'm almost 18 years old. It's not like I've never parked before. <gasps> what are you doing? You shouldn't drink. Don't be such a square. Jesus, you smoke too? You're beginning to sound just like my mother. This is hilarious. We'll take a little break, but we'll be back in a while. Aren't you supposed to be outside? Have you ever been in a situation where you didn't know if you could go through with it? I don't worry. <laughs> This is all wrong. It's like I'm kissing my brother. Ah. Oh! Hold on. Well, look at what we have here. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's his name? Dad. Daddy O. That's for messing up my hair. The hell are you doing to my car? Hey, hey, listen, guys. Come here, come look at your keys. Hey, the keys are in the trunk. This is not a drill. Oh my gosh. Legs up and everything. Jeez. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off. I think you got the wrong car, McFly. Come on. Go through it. Go through with it. Help me. Please. Just turn around, McFly. Come Close on. the door and beat it. You leave her alone. Yes. All right, McFly. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Oh. 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 Look at you also like standing up for him. <laughs> Trying to bond. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. All those years of bullying. Get him, get him, get him. Pure satisfaction. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Who is that guy? George McFly. I would have been hyping him up in that moment. Start like fabricating what he really did. <laughs> what is it happening now? Hey guys, you gotta get back in there and finish the dance. He can't play with his hand like that. Unless uh, you know somebody else that can play the guitar. All right. Earth Angel. Scram, McFly. Cutting in. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. Hey boy, you alright? Come on, George! Bruh, didn't we just have a nice heroic moment? Excuse me. Oh. Ooh. Okay, we we're safe, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do something that really cooks. Mm. All right, this is uh, this is an oldie. Uh, <laughs> an oldie. <laughs> this is a blues riff and B. Watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? <laughs> is that him actually singing? That's all it took. Jock, it's Marvin. You know that new sound you're looking for? <laughs> Everyone looking at you. <laughs> He's like in his own world right now. But your kids are going to love it. <laughs> George asked if he could take me home. Great, good. Listen, I gotta go. Marty, will we ever see you again? Name your kid after good me. Luck, guys. <laughs> if you guys ever have kids accidentally sets fire to the living room rug, go easy on them. That's like random. Marty, such a nice name. I'll name my third child after that. <laughs> Not first. 
whole concept of time. He had to go back and change, apparently. Back in that, that suit, suit. I would have. What if there was like a fourth child now? <laughs> Go back. No. Yes. have time to rewrite one. Uh we are running out of time. Okay, just plug it in. Then again, now the amount of times he's tried to warn him about this should at least give him a good idea of what could possibly happen. I mean, and he's seen the video to know that someone is after him. Eek! Damn it, Doc. Why did you have to tear up that letter? I know. We had more time. More time. I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. I can just go back early. Ten minutes ought to do it. Wait, right. but if you go back in time and... No, 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 no. Uh, oh! 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. We're doomed. Distraught to the <laughs> rolling. <laughs> what are you gonna do? No way. Zapped with them. Oh, he did it. I, I I lost hope in the end there. I was like, oh, maybe we're gonna stay for another. Ah. Uh, now you gotta ride to the the mall. Ooh. Crazy drunk driver. <laughs> oh, Brett, it was great. <laughs> 124. I still got time. No. Gotta no, be kidding me. <gasps> oh! Oh, that was right there. I mean, maybe now, since you disappear, you can go and help him to the hospital. Oh, nice. Oh. Bulletproof fast? You're alive. <sighs> Bulletproof fast. Huh? Did you tape it back up? Ah. Not all that talk. <laughs> about screwing up future events? What the hell? What? 
an adventure. Now, I need to see what they're like. Like, do they change? About 30 years. It's a nice round number. So I thought that was the story we were going to get, if anything. Oh. Them going to the future and then coming back. Not going to the back to come back. I would be scared that we use this car so much that, like, the next trip might, you know, like, it needs maintenance, probably. You know? <laughs> well, if Paul calls me, tell him I'm working at the boutique late. Well, somebody named Greg or Craig called you just a little while ago. Whoa. Oh, I can't keep up with all of your boyfriends. What the hell is this? What, did you sleep in your clothes again last night? Yeah, what, what are you wearing, Dave? I always wear a suit to the office. <laughs> a rematch, why? Were you cheating? <laughs> <laughs> you guys look great. Mom, you, you look so thin. Morning, sleepy. Head. My, my, my. <laughs> Jennifer Parker called. Oh, I sure like her, Marty. Aren't you going up to the lake tonight? You've been planning it for two weeks. Car's wrecked. Wrecked. See, there's Biff oh. out there waxing her right now. I want to make well, sure it's that we not nice to turn into the bully either. I'm sorry, Mr. McFly. <laughs> Imagine how you messed oh, up no. his whole lineage now. <laughs> Never would have fallen in love. That's right. just arrived. Oh, hi, Marty. I think it's your new book. Oh, he did become an author. Um. Um, like I've always told you, you put your mind space. to it, you can accomplish any- You're all waxed up, ready for tonight. Whoa. I mean, I guess it paid off to go back into the past. How about a ride, mister? Jennifer. Marty, you're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. Oh no, actually it was, it was a week that he right? spent back there. Everything is great. Come back with me! Whoa, 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 Where? Back to the future! I need fuel! Home energy. Yeah. I just got here, okay? Jennifer's here. We're gonna take the new truck. Bring her along! This she gets to come her too? <gasps> Something has gotta be done about your kids! You end up with her for real, for real? Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road. To Where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, excuse me. How much time did you spend in the year 20? Oh, I mean, maybe he already had like new ones lined up. That was such a fun movie. I really thought that whatever they were setting up for in the end here was what we were going to be getting in the movie. I thought we were going to be jumping forward to the future. Well, either way, this was super fun. I guess it was an important part to that needed to take place in order to now go to the future, right? Because this was like, without him going back in time, it wouldn't have facilitated the whole creation of the time machine to begin with. Even though, technically, Doc had like a vision but it was the confirmation of him coming back in time that somehow like probably solidified the whole invention. I just love the whole thing of how, um, like with any time travel story, like I love the little details that you see that's like, oh, that's why they did this or that's how that ended up there. So like the biggest one would be the clock, like why it stopped, the mayor, you know, in the very beginning of the movie, they kept showing posters of the new mayor or running, running for re-election? Was he running for election? But we, we kept seeing his posters. And then, of course, when we go back into the past and we get his origin story and like he, it's almost like he inspired, you know, him to actually go and run for mayor down the line and make something of himself. So that's super fun. Mom, the whole story with mom, like it's it was really funny how she she was exactly what she was like talking about I hate girls that do this and that and she was exactly like that as a teenager now she has obviously changed this time around by by letting him even go on that trip with his bae so it's like we see the ripple effect of how much the lack of confidence in dad in turn affected her as well and how she 
parented. So that was really funny that in that scene, in that uh, when she was talking about how they met, and she's like, why were you in the middle of the road? <laughs> now he knows why. Wait, does he know why? Did he see the binoculars? He probably did. The fact that he was like a peeping Tom. Absolutely hilarious. Going back in the past was definitely like fun. You know, seeing him shape the future and seeing how things were, how things are still somehow like the same too though. Like with um, when he initially went back, seeing how p some of the things were still like constant with the, I don't know if he's like the principal, but that teacher at school who was like, your dad's no good, you're gonna be no good. And uh, the docs, you know, kind of just crazy, whatever. I wish, like, I kind of want to see how he is like in school now. Like, does he treat him differently? You know, you know, we had a lot of good lessons of confidence, of having courage, not being afraid of being turned down, you know, like with the whole like writing the book or um, putting out the demo to the record label things like that so we all had a lot of good messages but i just really cannot wait to see the future because that's what i was saying in the beginning of the movie um in the intro i was like i want to see what kind of technology they think we're gonna have at a certain point so i was expecting when he was like setting the clock to like was it 20 years in the future or 25 years or something like that i was like oh my god we're gonna get to see now back then portrayed back from back then but no, that sounds like it's going to be the next movie. Even though we did get a little hint of it where he's wearing weird, you know, the crazy outfit and the glasses and and um, the biodegradable fuel or not biodegradable, the, I don't, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so that was like super fun. I love the movie. It was so funny. I did not expect to be laughing as much as I did especially like the one moment that i can remember was just when you thought it was so dire like they built so much tension in that moment when he was in the clock tower trying to get the thing and everything just kept going wrong and, <laughs> and in that moment where i like almost half gave up on him going back this this way and it seemed so hopeless the the wire whatever unplugged on the other side I was like, oh, we're done. And then he goes, oh, like, I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> I like, even as much as I was distraught, like, I was just rolling in that moment. Super creative, especially for, you know, that time. Like, I love the sci-fi thing. And then, like, even they brought up the whole, like, Darth Vader and whatnot. So, man, Star Wars is really just been here man <laughs> so yeah make sure you hit a thumbs up so we can like move on to back to the future too and i hope y'all are having a great holiday season thus far as we have entered december at this point i'm assuming when i'm putting this out full length reaction will be available on patreon make sure you check it out come and chat it up with us over on discord i hope y'all are staying safe and i'll catch you in the future <laughs> bye